Hello Pilates. Let's get started. As per usual, we'll start seated. Get some nice lovely music on. Oh, all right. Tuck those legs underneath you, or if you want, you can leave them straight out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. Rest your hands on those legs. And let's take some oxygen into the body. Inhale through the nose, expand your rib cage. And exhale, gently circle that head all the way around. And take another breath in. And exhale, reverse your circle. And head back to the center. And then roll those shoulders back. Nice big circles, try to get them all the way by those ears. And then reverse forward. And then lift those arms out and up. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale and open. And right arm reaches across the body and over the head. And lift up and twist right hand behind you, left hand on the knee. And release, reach that left arm out, inhale. Exhale, long stretch. And lift and twist. And release. And let's straighten our legs out in front of us. And roll forward, fold, lift up, inhale. And exhale, belly button in round that spine. Stretch your body. Ooh. And look up and flex, open that chest. And round and point. And let's roll it up. Good. And today, let's start with a mermaid and a twist. So we'll take our legs and we'll stagger them towards the left and we'll work on that right side. Good. So even here, lengthen that spine. You can grab onto your left ankle and then reach that right arm out. Take a breath in. Exhale. Nice long stretch. And lift up, bring the arms to a T. Take another breath in. Exhale, close the rib cage, twist to the right. Back to the center. Good, gently pick up the pace. Stretch and lift and twist. Center, repeat, stretch, lift, twist, center, and stretch, lift. Twist, center, stretch, lift, twist, center, last two, and stretch, lift, twist, center, last time, stretch, lift, twist, and center. Good, rest those arms, and then you're gonna take them off to the side. And then you're gonna bring the knees together and then your top leg forward. So left leg forward, both feet flex. So this one's like a downward dog, but we're twist a little bit. So it's a great um, core activator as well as length for the whole body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your hips off the mat, bottoms point up to the ceiling and then press back with your arms, belly button in. Try to strengthen or straighten your spine. And then take your right knee under and then lower your hip down using those oblique muscles. Yes, inhale. Exhale, repeat, press back up, push it back, belly button in, use your core. Take that right knee under, gently lower, use all those obliques. Yes, With this is lovely too because it's weight bearing on the upper body. Two more, press up, push back, take that. Right knee under, 
gently lower. One more time, inhale, exhale, press it up, push it back, lovely ladies. Take that right, meander, lower that right hip, all the way down, very nice. And let's take it to the other side, so swing those legs around, and we'll start with our mermaid twist first before we do our triangle. So grab that right ankle, lengthen your spine, reach out with that left arm, inhale, starting slow, exhale, nice long stretch, and lift arms to a T, inhale, exhale, twist to the left, back to the center, and let's gently pick up the pace, stretch, lift, twist, center, stretch, lift, twist, center, stretch, lift, twist, center, stretch, lift, twist, two more, and stretch, lift, twist, center, last time, and stretch, and lift, twist, Center, excellent. Rest those arms, and then let's take them off to the side. And then bring the knees a little closer together. And remember, this time your right leg is forward and your feet are flexed. And you're kind of squished close to the body, so you get a nice little triangle position. Inhale. Exhale, lift that hip up, point your bottom up to the ceiling, press back on the arms, pull your belly button up. Take your left knee under, lower your left hip. Inhale, exhale, lift and press back. Good, take that. Left knee under, lower that hip. Two more, inhale, exhale, press and push. And take that knee under, take your time as you lower, really work those oblique muscles, inhale, last time, exhale, press, and push, yes, take that knee under, and gently lower, all the way down, very nice, and then let's take it down onto our backs, so soft knees, and let's roll it all the way down. <clears throat> All right, let's take it into our leg circle. So our right leg goes out of the diagonal line and our rib cage is pulled in, um, belly button pulled in. So your core is activated the whole time and we're trying not to wiggle the body. Isolate that leg. Here we go, circle. Four, three, really keep that left knee still. Two, one. Reverse. Four. Three. Two. One. And let's point that leg straight up. And today let's work on our range of motion. So you're going to straighten your left leg. Good. And then big circle. Take it out to the right. Draw that leg down. Cross that leg over and up. And repeat, take it out. The outward circles, I always get a lot more clicking and popping in my hip flexor, if you know what I'm saying. And take it out. Clicking and popping isn't bad if this knees were tight and it's trying to loosen up. One more time, this direction. Take it out. And then let's reverse, cross the leg over to the right. Try keeping your right hip down, or over to the left, sorry. Take it out to the right, and then lift it up to the ceiling. Take your time, work your core and your inner thigh. Cross it over, inhale. Exhale, lift. Good, two more. Across, inhale. Exhale, lift. Good, last time, across. Take it out. 
lift it up. Good, take that right foot down to the mat and let's move on to that left leg. Lift it up in a diagonal line. If you lost your center in your core, pull it back in. Rib cage in, belly button in. Here we go. Circle. Try to keep that right knee completely still. Circle. Circle. Yes, reverse the direction. Circle. Two more. Ooh, and lift that leg straight up. And again, range of motion. So let's straighten that right leg. Big circles. Take that leg out to the left. Draw it down. Cross over the other leg. Try not to let your left hip lift up too much. Take it out. Inhale. Exhale. Cross it over and up. Good. Again, out. Yes, one more time. This direction. Take it out. And reverse. Cross the body. Take it out. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Across. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Two more. Across, inhale. Exhale, lift. Last time, across, inhale. Exhale, lift. And pull those knees into the chest. Healthy hips. Ooh. All right, let's tug the knees in and let's roll it up. Rolling exercises are also wonderful for a healthy spine. If you need to, remember you use momentum. If you are getting stronger, you take the momentum out. And Jenny, like you usually do, you have your wonderful modification. Well, you'll just, you'll just roll there until you're ready to get back into that. All right, so let's take it into a tabletop. Belly button in, nice round spine. Then roll it back. Make sure you don't roll onto your head. Here we go. Roll back. And then up. Yes. And again, roll it back. And up. Nice. Two more like that. Roll it back. And up. Ooh. Yes, one more. Roll it back. And roll it up. Good. And then let's do four more, but this time with our legs in. If you're uncomfortable with this, go back to that. Remember, you can loosely grab the shins, more challenging, tight. You could still move it a little, but if you need to move it more, release that grip. Inhale. Exhale. Roll back. And up. Inhale. Exhale. Roll back. Nice. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Roll back. Yes, one more time, inhale. Exhale, roll back. Yeah, roll it up. Good, take those feet down. Roll it back down. Ooh. And then let's keep the feet down, knees bent, but feet and knees together. So let's do some knee sways. This is great for a healthy spine. Arms straight out. It starts with a lovely lower back stretch and then we get into more oblique and core work. Take a breath in. Exhale, knees to the right. Keep your knees and hips lined up. Try to keep your joints squeezed together. And then bring it back to the center. Inhale. Exhale, knees sway to the left. And back to the center. And we're just going to gently pick up the pace. To the right. Back to the center. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Back to the center. To the right. Back to the center. To the left. Back to the center. One more set. Right. 
center. Last time, left. And back to the center. And then let's take our feet up off of the mat. You're going to keep your rib cage and belly button pulled in. Knees squeeze together, tabletop position. Good, same thing. Sway to the right. Keep your knees squeezed together, joints lined up. Back to the center. Inhale. Exhale, left. Back to the center. To the right. Back to the center. To the left. Back to the center. And we're going to add a little can-can series to this. So you go to the right, and then you unfold your legs. Then you bend it back in. Good. Back to the center. Repeat to the left. Unfold the legs. If you can all the way, if not, slightly bent is still fine. Back to the center. One more set. To the right. Unfold the legs. Bend. Center. Last time, left. Unfold. Bend. Nice, ladies. Center. Very nice. Last in the series, straightening the legs. Again, keep your joints lined up. It's better to have the legs more towards you than farther away. If you get them at that angle, you start putting pressure on the lower back. So again, muy importante, line up the joints. Keep those ankles together. Inhale. Exhale. To the right, a little or farther, no farther than halfway. Back to the center. We want to practice control, not practice strain. To the left. Back to the center. To the right, center, left, center, good, last two sets, let's add our little can-can, reverse can straight, bend, extend, back to the center, to the left, bend, extend, center. One more set to the right, bend, extend, center, nice ladies, last time to the left, bend, extend, back to the center, and pull those knees into the chest, and let's give a little tug, let's roll ourselves up, hiya, good, let's take it, <clears throat> over. Let's actually lay on our bellies today. So just flatten it on your bellies and we'll work our glutes. This also um, will involve a little bit of core, but glutes and hamstrings is more of an isolation since it's a little harder to lift the leg. So the glute has to work a little harder. Just hold your hands under your chin. Lift your right leg up. Flex your foot down towards your mat. Good. Little pulse. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Point your foot. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here we go with circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. You're going to take your foot, bend it, or point it to the ceiling. Good. Lift your whole thigh if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more set. Flexing the foot. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, lower that leg, take it down. Moving on to the left leg, lift it up. Point that foot or flex the foot down towards your mat. And pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Point that foot, lift, seven, six, three, two, Circles, eight, seven, six, three, 
reverse, eight. And then point that foot up to the ceiling. Try to lift the thigh. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flex and lift. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Lower that knee. Hands by the chest. Press it up. And let's pull it back and stretch in a child's pose. Belly button and forehead on the mat. Stretch that lower back. All right, let's do some weight bearing on that upper body. Push-ups. So as I've said before, and I'll say again, push-ups aren't just for upper body. They're fantastic for core. You need to engage your core and not let up your back sway. Whether you're on your knees or in plank, you can always choose to do no push-up and hold plank. Plank is a wonderful position, like I, like I said. If you're on your knees, try to get away from this position. This isn't bearing much weight on your joints at all, and my joints are out of whack. So, walk your hands forward and take your bottom down so your joints are lined up. And then you're right over those arms, and you don't have to go all the way down. Little movements still work. You get stronger as you go. As you get stronger, you can go deeper. But do what works for you today. So, either tabletop or plank, wherever you are. One push up, elbows narrow, or remember you can hold plank. Good, walk your hands back to your feet. You're going to scoop your belly button in as you do. Length versus strength. Soften those knees, roll through the spine. Yes, swoop those arms out and up, bend the knees, take a deep breath in. Exhale, open. Good, working on balance. You don't have to, you can stay flat. If you want to work on your balance, heels up a little bit or a lot of it. Belly button in, chin to chest. Lower down ever so carefully, controlling your balance. Excellent, ladies. Walk it back out. Knees or plank. If you're on your knees, be at the angle so you can do your push-ups. This time we're going to go wide, working on the chest. If you'd like, two push-ups. Walk your hands back to your feet. Pull that belly button in. Drop your head. Relax your neck muscles. Soften those knees. Roll it up. Roll through your spine. Engage your core. Yes. Swoop down. Out and up. Inhale. Exhale and open. Either flat or off the heels. Belly button in. Core engaged. Chin to chest. Forward fold. Carefully lower yourself down to the mat. Nice ladies, walk it back out. <clears throat> knees or plank. If you're on your knees, remember, take your bottom down. Good. Three push-ups, elbows narrow. Yes, nice ladies. Excellent, excellent. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Good job, walk it back, belly button in. Soften the knees, roll it up. And drop it down, out and up, inhale. Exhale, open. Last set. Either flat or heels up. Sweat shirt is not cutting it for me now. Fold it forward. Belly button in. And walk it back out. Knees are plank. Remember, if you're on your knees, Take your body at that nice angle so your joints are lined up and you have weight bearing. Wide arms working on those chest muscles. If you can, four push-ups. Nice, Cherie. Excellent, ladies. Walk it back. Scoop that belly button in. Drop the head. Relax those neck muscles. Soften those knees. Roll it up to standing position. Really roll through your core and your spine. 
and take a deep breath in. Exhale and open. This time, clasp your hands behind you. Keep your heels flat. Open that chest, open the shoulders, and then forward fold from here. So again, activate your core, pull your belly button in, chin to chest. Roll down through the spine, and if you can, let the arms hang. Really stretch out the shoulders and the chest. Get a little traction going in your spine. And then gently lower your arms down by your hips. Nice, Char. And then draw your hands on the back of your legs. Pull yourselves in. Hold your stretch. Excellent. Woo-wee. Look at all those flexible bodies. Walk it back out. Knees are a plank. Excellent. Either lower to your knees and lower your body, or you can lower from plank. Good. Take it onto the hips. Yes. Point those feet. Press it up. Upward dog. Stretch out those hips. And get a nice little arch in that lower back. And then pull it back in child's pose. Counter that stretch belly button. And... And roll it up. And excellent, ladies. Let's finish how we started. Seated on our mat. Tuck those legs right underneath us. And then sit up. Nice and tall. Leave room for the lungs to work. Rest the hands on the legs. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Expand the rib cage. And gently exhale and roll that head around. And take another deep breath in. And exhale, roll that head the other direction. And head back to the center. And last breath in, arms out and up. Fill your lungs with oxygen, palms together over the head. And exhale, pull it down, prayer position, let the thumbs rest in the center of the chest. Nice, hinge forward slightly with the upper body. Remember, keep that belly button pulled back. Thumbs between the eyes. And let's bow our heads forward. Thank you for working out with me today, beautiful, strong ladies. Namaste. Yay. Do, do, do. All right, I feel better. Hope everybody else does. We got a rainy day Saturday over here. It's hard. Thank you.